This video is intended to help you um, figure out how to calculate a infant formula recipe using concentrate. Um, this screen actually tells you about powder, but the method for using concentrate is essentially the same. So first you determine your volume, then calories, then how much formula you need. In this case, it's how much concentrate round if necessary for a home recipe. Um, you don't have to determine displacement for um, a concentrate recipe. Instead, you just subtract the total volume of formula concentrate from the total formula volume of formula you need, and then finally back calculate. In this example, I'm using Similac Advanced with Iron because really the only concentrates tend to be standard infant formulas. But instead of making it 20 calorie per ounce, I'm going to make it 24 calorie per ounce. I want to use concentrate and the feeding order is 80 mils Q for hours. So that basically means 80 mils times six feedings per day. And that gives us a total of 480 mils. If you wanna round that to ounces, you just take the 480 divided by 30 because they're about 30 mils in an ounce and that gives you a total of 16 ounces. How many calories do we need? We need 24 calories per ounce, so 16 ounces times 24 calories per ounce means we are going to need 384 calories. Remember, formula concentrate uniformly is double the concentration of standard formula. It's 40 calories per ounce of concentrate. So 384 kcals divided by 40 calories per ounce means we need 9.6 ounces of concentrate. We can either round that down to 9.5 ounces or up to 10. Depending on how we do it, we'll be a little under or a little over. If I round up for 10 ounces to make it nice even round numbers, then I have 16 ounces of final volume needed minus 10 ounces of concentrate means I need six ounces of water. So my recipe is six ounces water plus 10 ounces concentrate. Always determine if you did it correctly. So you can go down to the back calculation step And so there we take our 10 ounces times 40 calorie per ounce equals 400 calories total. We have a total of 16 ounces or 480 mLs. And we wanna know how many calories is that for 30 mLs or one ounce. And when we do that, we determine that it's 400 times 30 divided by 480 using our proportion and the answer is actually 25 calories per ounce. So you aimed for 24 because of rounding you got 25. You could back, go back and use nine and a half in which case you'd be using our uh, six and a half ounces of water and if you do that you come up with 23.8 calories per ounce. So you could use either depending on whether you want to over or undershoot.